Welcome to the 10-Minute Life Coaching Program. My name is Jay Cleveland Payne, and I train people for improved personal and professional development, offering my assistance for those ready to develop their goals into tangible, focused, and achievable plans of action. And this podcast is one of the tools I use to complete my mission. Now, how this podcast works, it's very simple. You'll get a podcast that'll be about 12 minutes in length, but at the 10-minute mark, we will end the lesson for the day. And in 10 minutes, you'll have a good lesson, a lesson you can carry on and apply pretty much right now as soon as you're done for your personal and professional development. It's that simple. And if you hear a lesson, if you hear a topic, if we're talking about something that sounds fairly familiar because it's something you're already doing in your life, that's because you're already on a great path to doing great things. Maybe the thing hadn't quite worked out yet, but just a little bit of extra time and effort. This is your reinforcement knowing that you've got a good idea, just to need a little more time to get it right, get it ready. For more information on how I can help you maybe make that a little better, check out the website, 10minutelifecoach.com. Think about all the effort you put into everything, because everything takes effort. It takes effort to get yourself out of bed in the morning. And there actually is a measurement of activity for people who essentially would just lie in bed all day. It's called your basal mel- metabolic rate. I always have trouble saying that. Your basic metabolic rate if you want to. And this is just the amount of calories your body will burn just for being alive. It's because if you're breathing, your body is doing something. So it has to burn calories to take care of all the basic brain functions and all the body functions that goes on. If you get out of bed and move around, obviously you're going to burn more calories in the day, put on more strenuous work, you know, do actual work or a workout that's pretty heavy. That's more calories burned in the day. To maintain your body and to maintain your mass, maintain your energy, you have to, of course, put some fuel in, and those are calories from eating. Now, this is not about weight loss or things like that, but it is about your ability to add on or subtract from your activities by adding a little extra effort. Now, if you notice from your daily routine how you live, this what you do throughout the day, how much activity physically you put into, and how much you take in by eating, and you think, I need to do something to change my, my health, my weight specifically, you start with slight changes to how you do activity. You add some exercise to it. You may do, uh, you may look at your steps per day, and you're only doing about 6,000 normally, so if you do the 10,000 steps they ask you to do, that's a percentage increase of your steps, which would offer up some sort of percentage increase to your weight loss, at least your calorie burning. If you take away some of your calories, look at a 2,000 calorie diet that we sort of tout around in America, and then cut that down to maybe 1,800 calories in a day and keep it consistent and keep it down to good calories, not so much junk food, you should see some sort of loss in weight in there too because your intake is going down, so your body is burning less, has less to burn, and your body is burning more with the exercise. The thing that comes down to this, the reason why people give up on a lot of weight loss things, is they don't see the results fast enough. They look at all the heavy work they're doing for a short period of time, and it's not coming out to anything they can see, nothing tangible, so they back away from it. That's the big mistake about something on weight loss, and it's also a big mistake on many other things going on in personal development. Now, what you should look for is some improvement. If any bit of improvement will work towards your advantage, you should probably be doing it. So if you can measure, say, a 10% improvement in what you're doing, if you put up 10% more effort, 10% more resources, 10% more time into a activity, it doesn't really matter what it is, just look at it and give yourself a real great measure of time to evaluate it. If it's exercise, you want to give yourself at least six weeks until you can see some real results. If it's a sales goal and you have to make more clients to get more views, more visits, you're probably going to take a little while as well. But you see how long it takes for you to get some actual results in your added value, in your added effort. And you have to keep that effort consistent even on the early days when it's not going well. But the important part about setting a date to evaluate is that's a date where you look and see where the rubber meets the road. Now, if your 10% effort is giving you 12% more gains, then you probably should keep on finding the right bit of effort to do because obviously more effort will give you more. 12% from 10% is a plus. Now you work to make sure it's a bit more efficient so that you're getting 20% from 10% or maybe even more based on what you're doing. For exercise, for example, as you build your body up and gain more muscle mass in the process of your exercise, you'll find you're burning more calories 
sense. You can actually eat more, intake more fuel because you have more being burnt throughout the day in your massive exercise. If you're looking at that sales goal, for example, if it, if doing more cold calls means you get more appointments, that's the first step to getting more money. If you get more appointments, you can probably make more presentations and you can make more money on there. If something gets lost in the shuffle, you reevaluate what's going on. Now, on the same token, you have that same 10% effort you're adding to what you're doing right now, and then you evaluate and you find out you're only getting about 9% growth or 8% growth or actually it's declining, no growth at all. If that's the case, if you put an extra effort into some sort of activity and it comes out to the negative or just not meeting up to the actual extra effort, you should evaluate why you're doing the thing in the first place. Maybe what you're doing is not for you. Maybe you're actually working on something that's more to a detriment than a plus for you. And because of that, the extra hard work you're doing is really hard work going to something that you're not naturally inclined on doing. Maybe it's time for you to shift away from that specific weight loss goal, that specific weight plan in particular, uh, because maybe the extra cardio isn't working for you. You should try lifting weights for a bit and give the same 10% effort test in whatever time you want to give to it. If you're doing an activity and the extra effort is coming up on short, you need to really evaluate why you're doing that activity. If it's something that must be done, then it must be done period. If it's something you hate doing, that might be part of the reason why you're not getting anything extra out of doing it. But if it's something that does not have to be done, or more specifically, does not have to be done by you, that's the time to find a way to eliminate it from your workflow, get it out of your life, stop doing it if you don't have to. Or if it's something that must be done that is important to someone, maybe it's a work effort, an activity that slows you down, find someone who's more suitable for doing it, or maybe bring up the task of finding someone to do that one task particularly because maybe there's someone who is so grand at that one task they could take it and make it magnificent as opposed to everyone else drudging that one little thing stopping whatever's going on the effort is simple you just see what you're doing you just make a gauge of how well you're working on what you're working on and find a way to increase what's going on and that's the real important thing you have to be committed to a doing the work be committed to increasing the amount of effort and keeping it consistent in your work and see the time allotted to see the changes because you have to give it time to work. We already talked about weight loss where people are seeing that they don't get results instantly. They're not before the after picture within two weeks, so they give up on the entire diet, the entire exercise program. It takes a little time to learn the program and take some time for your body to not be freaked out by what you're doing and to get comfortable in your own skin, for lack of a better term, in an exercise program. If you're using this for some other activity, it's going to take some time, some stumbling, and figure out exactly what you need to be doing to work on something. It's not going to be an instant fix. It's going to take some time to work. But once you put in a little bit of time, you can actually gauge how much effort has been increased by what you're doing. Now, it's simple. If you're getting more percentage back than what you're putting into, You should probably figure out how to make that percentage work to your advantage, make it a bit more amenable to getting more out of it. But if you're just getting 12, 13 percent out of 10 percent effort, that's more than what you're putting in extra. That means you can be doing more extra to make things work. If you put more extra effort into it and the returns do not come out greater than what your extra effort putting in there, maybe the full effort is not what you even need. Maybe you should not be doing that at all. I Maybe it's something that you think you love that just isn't working and you have to evaluate why it's not going on well. Or maybe it's something, as we said earlier, you really, really hate but needs to be done and, and you haven't found someone to delegate it to. This might be your your ammunition to tell people that can help you get things done that you need more help to get things done. So make sure you have a document of why. And this is a fine example, having the percentages of the effort put into it showing that it doesn't come anything out and giving it to someone else who can get it done and not slow you down so your production can be just fine. Extra effort should always come down to some sort of extra reward. You should always get more from pushing just a little bit more. And if you're pushing more and finding you're not getting anything back, then you should question why you're even pushing in the first place. 
And that's this week's edition of the 10 Minute Life Coach. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. For more information about the podcast and how I can help you, uh, what I do, of course, helping you work on your personal and professional development, check out the main website, 10minutelifecoach.com. While you're there, if you're interested in joining our community, it's called the $10 Life Coach because it's $10 a month to get in. But what you get for being in the $10 Life Coach is you get a chance to hang out with like-minded people who really want to improve themselves. And together, we, because it is a group effort, we will push each other, we will talk to each other, we will do what we can to help each other out and give very special uh, certain times. We'll have some live chats and some things out there where we can kind of literally go one-on-one with people and give them a a bit of a group um, coaching community type feel with that one. You also get access to any of my programs or products that come out before or anyone else. You get a chance to see them for free or really, really cheap, and that's very simple. Just go to 10minutelifecoach.com and click on the button for the $10 Life Coach, and you can get a chance to join us and help out and help a brother out, basically, do well with that as well. You can also find more things about me and what I have going on by going to my other website, jclevenpain.net. I call it my main, main website because it's named after me, but it has my other side projects that go along there as well. And, of course, email to jclevenpain at gmail.com. It's all that simple ways to get in touch with me, ask me questions, see what I can do for you, and we will figure it out as quickly as possible. Thank you once again for being a part of the podcast, for all the changes we've had going on. And thank you for um, the responses to the uh, new uh, advertisers that have popped up. We're actually going to start looking for some sponsors inside of the podcast. Right now what we have are essentially uh, just advertisements that are tagged on the front and the back of the podcast to help make a little extra money for me and what's going on, support this, this side hustle thing going on. We're going to look for some sponsors. I know I've kind of balked at that in the past, but we're look for some sponsors that actually fall in line with what we were doing and of course some of them will hope to be uh, some of the tools the people behind the tools that I use so I can definitely endorse someone or something uh, that something that I truly love enjoy and use every day that's going to be the real thing so if you have any ideas on any advertisers you think would fit a line with our podcast you can send me that email as well otherwise thank you so much for being a part of the whole shebang and listening through all the the after work i appreciate that let me know what i can do for you and for me subscribe to the podcast share it with some friends and be back next week for another edition of the 10 minute life coach